Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make the portfolio on your WordPress website completely private so that only people with the correct password can access it and view the content within it. Now we're going to do it using a plugin called Password Protected Categories which is one of our plugins at Bantu Media and what it does is it lets you create private areas within a public WordPress website. So most of your website, like your home, your blog page, contacts, blog, blog posts, all that stuff, that can all be public. Um, but what we will know at the end of this tutorial is how to make the portfolio part of your website private. There are lots of reasons why you might want to create a private password protected category for your portfolios within WordPress. Um, for example, it may be that you work in a bit of a sensitive area. Uh, it may be that your clients haven't given permission for you to publicly publicize the fact that you did some work for them. Um, and yet it may still be appropriate for you to present that work in a portfolio to specific people who you know, as opposed to publicizing it on your website for the world to see. So there's quite a lot of reasons why there might be some sensitivities that make it appropriate to password protect your portfolio. Um, there is also a tutorial that I've created about how to protect parts of a portfolio. So that would allow you to have public and private areas within your portfolio. This is a specific tutorial on how to make your whole portfolio private. So to get started, I've created a basic WordPress test site and I've got a portfolio. This portfolio is a custom post type that came with my theme. I'm using the Avada theme. And um, if your theme comes with a portfolio post type that can be divided into categories, then this technique will work for you too. It will also work for you whether you just use normal WordPress posts for your portfolio. It will work for you if you use a portfolio plugin or if you created your own custom post type to store your portfolio projects in. So long as it's a normal post type or custom post type within WordPress and includes categories where, to allow you to structure your portfolio projects, then this tutorial is relevant for you. So let's get started. So far, I've got my public portfolio, but I want to make it private so that nobody else can see it. I'm going to go into the WordPress admin now and show you how my site is set up behind the scenes so that you can do the same. We're going to go to the plugins page where you can see what plugin we need. Now, the plugin we need is password protected categories. You could ignore the other ones in my list. Um, this is available from barn2.co.uk. So install it and activate it before you do this tutorial. And um, as you can see, I also have a portfolio section within my WordPress website. I'm not going to show you how to set that up within this tutorial because there's so many different methods. But if you read the written tutorial that accompanies this video, then there are tips on the various ways to create your portfolio in the first place. But this video is about how to make your, your portfolio private once you have created it, if that makes sense. So we've got the password protected plugin installed and we're going to click settings first. Um, this is a fairly simple page which gives you a few settings as to how the protected content within your website, in this case your portfolio, will work. You can choose how long it will be before your customers have to re-enter the password. So in my case, if they've unlocked the portfolio, then they won't have to re-enter the password for a day. Um, I could change that to three days, seven days, anything I wanted really and that will um, mean that they don't have to log in constantly, which is obviously be annoying for them. And the other option is to show protected. This is quite important because you do not want to tick this box. Your portfolio should be hidden from the public part of your website, so don't tick the box and that will um, hide it from widgets, menus and search results. So if somebody searches for um, the name of one of your projects in the search box or something like that on your website, um, or in Google, then if you tick this box, it might come up. Um, with, people wouldn't be able to actually view it unless they enter the password, but I imagine that you don't want it to come up at all because it's private. So don't tick this box and that will hide it properly, including from search results and everything. 
Finally, we've got some settings that allow you to customise the login form that people will see when they try to access your private portfolio. So you can just change that to whatever you want. And I'm going to click Save Changes. The next thing we're going to do is create a main category which we will use to protect our portfolio. So I'm going to go to Portfolio Categories and you will go to whichever page you manage the cat categories for your portfolio. So here we are, this is should look similar however you've created a portfolio. This is a standard category page layout in WordPress. I've already got a category, so I'm going to edit it, but you could equally create a new category if you don't have one. Now the key here is that you want one category for all of your portfolio posts to appear under. You can further divide it into subcategories if you like, which I will talk you through in a minute. But the key thing is that you want your portfolio to be completely within one category, which will be password protected. So when we add or edit a category, you can see a visibility section. That is added by the password protected categories plugin and it allows you to add a password. So I'm gonna call it private123. And you can just have one password for your whole portfolio, or if you want, you could add more. Um, so for example, you might want to give a different password to each person who has access to your portfolio, which would make it easier for you to revoke their access simply by deleting the password here at any point. So if you want to be able to add and manage passwords individually or something like that, then you can add as many as you like, and really you can add loads, as you can see. Um, and then you click update. So I've created I've a password protected category with a password. And the next thing I'll show you is how to create subcategories. So back on the main portfolio categories page, I'm going to create a private subcategory. And I'm going to leave it as public, but the way I'm going to password protect it is by selecting my password protected main portfolio category as the parent. Now, the reason I'm gonna do this is because it will allow every element of my portfolio, including the subcategories, to be protected with the same password so that my users only have to enter one password to unlock the entire portfolio. So you can see from this line that this is a subcategory of my password protected category. So now when I put any portfolio posts within my main category or the subcategories, and you can add as many subcategories or sub subcategories or sub sub subcategories as you like, they will all be protected with that single password which I added for this category. So let's put our posts within it now. Now to, you need to add every single portfolio project within your password protected category. That is what makes it private. So you use quick edit or something. So you go to your list of portfolio items. I'll just do that a bit slower for you. Um, so this is a list of all my portfolio posts and I'm gonna use quick edit to just make sure they're all in either my main private password protected category or my subcategory. Now I'm just gonna add a few to the subcategory. They're all in the main category already. So let's go to the website. Now, when we saw the website before, there was a portfolio link in the menu. So let's see what's happened. It's gone. The reason it's gone is because in the settings page, um, I, I unticked the box to show my password protected content on the public part of the site. So now I have a private portfolio, but no one can see it exists. That may be what you want, and if you really want your portfolio to be totally hidden so that nobody even knows it exists, then that's what you need. Um, you could, for example, just give somebody the link to your password protected portfolio category and give them the password via email or something, and then they can access it in the background of your website without anybody else knowing it exists. Or you could put a link to it if you wanted, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So go to appearance menus, And this is my main menu. Now, as you can see, portfolio is already in the list. Um, the reason is because, like I said, on the settings page, I've told it not to appear until I've entered the password. 
So that's no use if you want it to be used um, to allow people to log in. So the other way to do it is a custom link. So don't add it from the portfolio category section, um, add it as a custom link. So what I'm gonna do is find out the URL of my password protected portfolio category and I'm gonna add it to the menu as a custom link. So we go portfolio, portfolio categories. And what I'm gonna do is right click on the main portfolio category and copy link address. You could equally add links to your subcategories if you wanted, but I'm not gonna bother here. So I'm gonna call this link private portfolio and I'm gonna spell it right there. Add to menu. I'm gonna drag it to my menu after the other portfolio link, which is created via the portfolio category section so that you can see how they behave differently. And that gives you the options for creating your own menu. So I'm gonna refresh my website. So now you can see that the custom link I added does appear in the menu, but the portfolio category link does not appear. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna take me to my login page. And um, so if I'm gonna log in, my password was pass, no, I think it was private one, two, three. Let's try that. Private one, two, three, login. If you ever forget the password, you can just find it in the categories section where you created it. So I've entered the password and it has unlocked my private portfolio. If anybody else clicks on the link, um, public users, they will just be seeing the login page. Once you enter the password, the whole thing is unlocked. You can also see that my other link has now appeared. So if you did want to create a navigation within your portfolio that only people with access to it can see, you could do it via the, uh, by adding the actual categories. Similarly, you can add your individual posts to the menu so that they only appear once people have already entered the, pa the password. So that's quite handy. Now, the final thing I'm gonna show you is how to create a login um, form anywhere else on your site. So you may not want to put it in the menu. You may wanna put something in the footer or your sidebar or wherever. So let's do it as a sidebar widget now. So I'm going to go Appearance, Widgets. And what you want to do is just create a normal text widget because um, I'm going to tell you a short code which will let you add it to any text area on your website. So I'm going to create a text widget and add a short code called category underscore login just within square brackets like that. And we're going to save. And I've just put that in my main sidebar area um, so that'll depend on your own theme if you've got a sidebar. So that's how I've added the login form to my sidebar. The text here is what we entered on the settings page, but um, you can actually add a unique um, sentence to go above each login form if you prefer. And how to do that is in the documentation for the plugin. So, and that's how to add a login form. Um, you could create a sort of you could do whatever you want to allow people to access your portfolio. You could put it in the menu, you could the widget, you could just link to it. You could just email people the link. You can, however people access it, you can choose um, how prominent you want your private portfolio links to be on your public website. And that's it. You've learned how to make your portfolio on any WordPress website completely private. Uh, people will only even know it exists if you choose to link to it, which is completely optional. And to unlock it, people just enter the password and then they can see your portfolio posts within. It's really easy for people to use because once they've added the password, um, they can view any of your portfolio posts. Um, they don't have to add the, add into the password again. It's also really secure because if somebody did have a link, for example, to a specific post within your portfolio, they would still be prompted for the password. You know, it's not just the category page that is protected. Everything within it is protected too. So it's really secure and yet it's really easy to use. You can get the Password Protected Categories plugin from our website, barn2.co.uk. And when you get it, we provide a full years of um, plugin updates and support um, to help you get up and running with your own private portfolio. And I hope that was useful to you.